Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. In this week's video, I'm doing some upgrades to the powder coating booth I made a little while ago. Now the first thing I did, I put some inexpensive LED strip lighting into the booth. This way, I can see what I'm doing in the booth real easily. And as you can tell, it makes a huge difference when you turn those lights on. Now when you'd be using this booth, there are a few items that need power. Instead of plugging these things in individually, I just glued a small power strip using Gorilla Glue or polyurethane glue to the side of the booth. Now here's a rundown on the side of the booth with everything attached. First is the power strip with the items all plugged in and that way I only have to plug in one item. And then I made a little bracket to hang the air hose. Now when you're powder coating, you want the air as dry as you can get it. And you also need to regulate the PSI of the air. So I just attached a dual regulator and dryer onto the side of the booth. Then I attached a powder coating control box to the side also. And then to store the powder coating gun, I just used a small piece of PVC pipe and it slides right in there. And I also have another air dryer and regulator on the end of the gun. Now one of the big upgrades to this booth is I made a device that will spin around using a Lazy Susan where you can hang the items that you're going to powder coat. And since it can spin, it makes it easier to get all sides coated. And I designed it that so the oven rack slides right in there. That's so when it's time to put the stuff in the oven, all you have to do is slide the rack out and then put it into the oven. Then I also designed it that so it can be removed real easily. That way, if you have something that's really big, it's easy to remove it. And it's just as easy to put it back. Well, that does it for this upgrade to this powder coating booth. I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.